All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got in here. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. All right, I'll leave all these parts in the description. Got the solar panel, the pole, um, the tripods out there. But let's go into here. So what I got going on here. So this is a charge controller. I'll leave all these links in the description. <clears throat> this is really easy to do. It's not hard at all. Um, this is a, a 12 volt battery. I'll leave the link in this description. The most expensive thing on this is the battery. All right. Um, battery's dead right now, so I don't have power. Um, I was just kind of testing it. And then this is a MiFi 8800L running visible wireless. Um, visible is $40 a month. You can get it down to $20 um, if you want to. I just put the SIM card. You have to activate the SIM card on another phone, put it in here, and you have to change one setting. You have to change one setting, and that's it. And it works. Um, so I just put my sense cap in there like that. Plug it in, and then shut this. Coming out the back. Oh, these things on the side. Uh, these are for these are for cell, as you can see. I can leave these in the description too. These go to my um, uh, my MiFi for cellular service. And if I can shut this. Now this case is a poly case. I bought this on poly.com or polycase.com. <clears throat> a really tight case. It's brand new. I just got it. Yeah, so that's why it's so tight. Um, now if we go around the back. I got. So these are the solar panel cables coming out. With PG9. Um. Uh, waterproof whatever the fuck these are called these just go right to the solar panel and this mounts on that tripod on one of the pegs and then the solar panel just sits like this on top of it and these are picatinny rails you can buy these on amazon as well um, i bought these bolts from home depot and these just go on the tripod so um this post is a one and five eighths post. I have an I have an H antenna right here, and this is a one and five eighths one and five eighths yeah one and five eighths post. It's eight feet long, and it fits nice and snug on in there. Which that all comes with that that post that's in there now comes with that tripod, and this this just sits snug and perfectly right in it. And the solar panel will mount like right here. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, very easy, not hard at all. The hard part is actually finding a place to put this thing. I have a couple spots in mind. I want to test them before I actually, I want to test this. I mean, before I actually put it somewhere, cause I have one in a spot and as you can see, it's pretty cloudy out and I've been having problems with it staying online. It keeps, uh, there's not enough sunlight to keep it, to keep it going and it keeps going offline. So, um, hopefully I don't have to go get that one. I'm gonna do some testing on this. You know, I had my mango router in here, but I think it uses too much electricity. I think it uses too much power. So I'm gonna just stick to, I'm just gonna run re relayed on this. I can put a VPN on here, but it's gonna cost like $20 a month. It's not gonna cost like the $2 on the, um, uh, the method that I use. So I don't know if that's worth it. You know, it's, I'm already paying forty dollars for the the cellular service. I'm not going to pay another thirty for that. So um, I guess we'll see how this goes. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. You know, in case something comes up. Oh, um, for the antenna mount, I, I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll leave a link. I don't remember what it's called, but it's just a it's an N female to N female. And so the end mail goes here and then comes up to the antenna. I'll leave a link. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, well, that's it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.